Authorized citizen ID required. Hello, Voxel. Shh. What? My name is Foster. I've just got a few questions. <clears throat> I wanted to ask you if you've seen any monsters. <laughs> How do you know about the monster? Ember told me. Ember? What did she tell you? That I was making it up? Go away! Me again. Can we talk some more? Hi. I'm looking for a missing kid. He came through this way a couple of nights ago. His name is Milo. He's about Pixel's age. And my age. Have you seen him? No, I haven't seen anything. I've been in this fortress where it's safe. Safe from what? The monster. Voxel, about this monster. Truth is, I'm a monster hunter. I've been tracking a monster across the desert for days. I think he came through here. And I'm looking for someone brave enough to see it and live to tell the tale. Um, I saw it. Can you describe it? It was big and beastie and it eats children and I could hear the screaming and it was fast and dark and silent. Slow down, one thing at a time. It was big, like a giant dog. A giant dog? That sounds like what I'm after. Did you see any children? No, but I heard them. I heard kids crying inside its tummy. And where did it go? It sneaked off into the city. After that, I got in here. No way am I gonna let it get me. You've been in here for two days? Still alive, aren't I? Any ideas on getting into the city? People go in and out of the main gate. Are you gonna go in there and kill it? Sure am. That's what monster hunters do best. Then I'm gonna bring Milo and the other children back out. You will? Oh, you better take this. Thanks. What is it? A firecracker. I was going to use it to kill the monster. But you can have it. Do you know how I can get inside the city? I already said you need to get across the river and through the big doors. This giant dog. Where did you see it? I was playing buzz saws and dynamos with Pixel. I won, and he was really cross. Then, in the night, I woke up. It was totally dark. I'd heard this... sound. Like feet padding along the road. Big feet. And then I heard screams. Children's screams. I ran over here and hid in my fort. And you've been in here ever since? Yeah. I'm hungry. What do I do with this firecracker? I don't know. Throw it at the monster. But cover your ears. See you around. Hey, you got anything to eat? I'm kind of hungry. Uh, I could keep an eye out. Mr. Hopsworth sometimes lets me have some of his lunch. He doesn't usually know that, though. Ah, understood. Voxel's giant dog sounded a lot like the stalker that had taken Milo. Now I was sure that the stalker had entered the city. There had to be a way in through the main gates.
Those birds weren't going to let me anywhere near the back of the truck. The smell of the Mini K was highly pungent. Maybe later. How's it going, Wendell? Can't complain. I'm not like anybody'd listen if I did. That's the spirit. <laughs> What's on your mind? How do I open the back of the truck again? One big bumper wallop. Two little jig. Three pull hard. Wallop, jig, pull. Got it. I'll be back. I'll be here. The doors were locked shut. Perhaps for the best. Ah. Uh. These were not my best moves. I gave the door a good tug. Right. Get the bumper. These were not my best moves. These were tough desert birds. Waving a crowbar around wouldn't faze them. Come on, big fella. I didn't want the bird to mistake my hand for its next meal. I was going to have to think of another solution. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on, big fella. help you today I need to get into the city easily done sir just drive your vehicle across the bridge and the gates will open up for you my vehicle yes your vehicle you do have a vehicle don't you what if I don't well you're about five years too late this is a vehicle entrance now freight only I'm afraid anything else I can help with today so just to be clear, you did not see a vehicle. Nothing like what you're looking for, sorry. Have a nice day. In Union City, sir, there is no other kind of day. Authorized citizen ID required. Ember. Hi again. Guess what I found? A lot of nerve coming back here. Nope. This. What? My deed? I'll have that. Sure, but how about I give you the deed in exchange for the citizen ID that's on it? The deed for the ID? But... You wouldn't have it back if it weren't for me. It wouldn't have been stolen if it weren't for you. So we're even. I suppose that's sort of... fair. Excellent. When do we start? Have you got a U-chip? Yes. My hand is still stinging. Right then. Let's get this over with, yeah? Pass me back my deed, hmm? I'll need to hook the deed up to my workbench here. Ember's deed had a citizen ID stored on it. A makeshift workbench had been set up. Its structural integrity seemed over-reliant on some old deflated tires. Hey, Ember. You ready to do this? I'm not entirely sure what this is. <sighs> you want that citizen's ID, right? Yeah. What do I need to do? Cool. Just place your hand flat on the U-chip scanner. Over here on my workbench. Uh, like this? Yeah, good enough. Let me just line up the laser. Oi, keep your hand still or you'll lose it. Uh, is this gonna hurt? No more than getting the chip installed in the first place. Right, just transferring the ID now. You may feel a slight pinch. What was that? That wasn't supposed to happen? There it is again. Must be... Nothing. Must be nothing. Looks like his name was Graham. A fine, upstanding citizen. <clears throat> Graham. Got it. Good luck, citizen Graham. At last I had a citizen ID. 
I hoped that this was going to be my key to getting into the city. There was something strange about the water, and there was an unmistakable smell of ozone. Graham's ID was finally starting to get me places. It was a sandwich. Me again. Can we talk some more? Hi. Food delivery for Mr. Voxel. Oh, yes. One of Hobsworth's city singers. Do you want my crusts? You eat them. Warriors need their strength. See you around. By the sound of things, Hobsworth was hard at work. I decided not to interrupt him. The U-chip I'd been given here now contained this Graham guy's ID.
phone with a helpful cleaning droid buddy. It'll take on the hard work so you don't have to. Hey, Wendell. Managed to get those doors open all right? Just about. Did you, uh, do the jig? Sure did. You said it was essential. That's right. Although, here's a funny thing. My wife never does the jig back at the farm. But it always seems to open for her. Anyway, what can I do for you? Mind if I take a look at the power cell? I'm pretty handy with this sort of stuff. Hobsworth has it. Told me he'd have it charged in a jiffy. Great. How long ago was that? About a million jiffies ago. My guess is it's either gathering dust or it's being ground to dust. Be seeing you. Aye. The power cell was completely wrecked. The console seemed specialized. The console seemed specialized. It looked like some sort of scanning device. The power cell was completely wrecked. There was an empty space where the power cell should have been. Hey, Wendell. Morning, son. Or afternoon. I lose track. So all you need to get into the city is a charged power cell? Land snakes alive, yes. A power cell. Do you want me to write it down? No, no, I got it. I had this sinking feeling that the wrecked power cell in Hobsworth's hut was the one that Wendell hoped would power his truck. Do you need a vehicle to get into the city? You do, but I don't. I've got Brucey here. What I do need is a new power cell. And you can't just walk in? Are you mad? Walk into the city? <laughs> There's guns guarding their main gates, and they'd make mincemeat out of you, Sonny Jim. I take it this is your truck? It's got my name on it, don't it? Your name is... W? Well, some of it. I'll be back. I'll be here. One step forward, two steps back. I had a citizen ID, but my outdated U-chip firmware wasn't going to play nice with more modern devices.
Citizen, welcome to the abridged audiovisual union city fact file. You may have noticed that there are a large number of gang gang birds in this area. These beautiful and appealing birds are a member of the cockatoo family and are categorized by a large wispy grass found on the top of their heads. Gang gang are endemic to this region and are found in heavily populated areas. The birds may startle easily but they are particularly efficient predators and can often be found carrying non-food items that they have taken a shine to. This concludes your requested fact. Please return for an all new Union City fact. And remember, be vigilant. This message is sponsored by the Ministry of Comfort. Ember had used the workbench to transfer Graham's ID to my U-chip. Nothing happened probably because the machine had had its innards ripped out. Hi. Hi again. I spoke to Voxel about his monster problem. You what? I think his monster is the vehicle I've been tracking. Oh, good for you. So you told him the monster was real? Won't be seeing him anytime soon. Nice one, Super Dead. Do you know how I can get into the city? You try the bridge? No. Seems a good place to start. See you around. Bye now. Hobsworth, was it? Ah, oh, hello again, stranger. Wendell's power cell wasn't looking too functional. Oh man, you saw, huh? I don't think it's supposed to smoke like that. Not conventionally, no. Listen, don't tell Wendell. I'll fix it. Any updates on Wendell's power cell? Not yet, but I'll get onto it soon. So, you haven't seen any vehicles? Nothing like you've described. Sorry. This may sound like a stupid question, but how do I actually get into the city? Well, first thing would be to head over to the city gates. Uh, yes? If you got a valid ID, and just scan your U-chip, and the bridge will open. Valid for what? Now, that is a stupid question. You need a vehicle to get through the big doors there. If you have transport clearance, like that old fella with the smelly truck, you just drive up, scan your ID, and roll right onto the elevator down to the cargo bay. About this missing kid? I can't help you there. Now, please stop asking. It makes me kind of uncomfortable, you know what I mean? See you around, Hobsworth. Keep a smile on your face.
The bridge seemed to be operated by some sort of hand scanner. Error. UCHIP firmware outdated. Authority for vehicular access denied. <sighs> the firmware on my UCHIP was out of date. I realized that I'd been sold a dud by Ember. Hey, Amber. Hi again. Do you know how I can get into the city? You try the bridge? Yes, but it won't open for me. Apparently my U-chip is out of date. Oh, right. They had to replace the hand scanner recently. Must be running on new firmware. Much newer than the crappy U-chips from that old terminal. What happened to the old hand scanner? No idea. Why would you even ask that? I didn't take it. Shut up. Either way, the ID you gave me doesn't work. Hey, listen, guy. The ID is tip-top. It's your U-chip that's the problem. It's old. Like you. Well, have you got any newer replacements? Nuh-uh. That U-chip is in you now. It stays there. You'll need to run an update, but my guess is you can only do that inside the city. And without the update, I can't get across the bridge. I appear to be at an impasse. Yikes. Well, that ain't good. Could maybe hack the bridge, but... Nah. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Did you say hack? Okay. So you know how everything here runs on Minos? Minos? Surely that's not based off the old Link system. That's right. When they upgraded, they dumped the old Link tech. Smart shoes, smart toasters, smart light bulbs, smart fridges. Minos makes everything smart, smart, smart. Except the humans. <laughs> anyway, you know how Hobbsworth is always pointing his scanner at stuff? Yeah? That's his Minos scanner. Minos scanners let guys without any smarts figure out how machines work. Old Hobbsworth has all kinds of safeguards so he can't mess things up more when they break. But with a few modifications... Can you do more than just diagnose Minos machines? Much more. Could I borrow your hacker? <laughs> Is that a no? <laughs> Could I maybe trade you something for your hacker? <laughs> Honestly, probably not. Okay, so if you won't trade me for that hacker, could you make me one? For a price, and a whole lot of inconvenience. What do you mean? For starters, you need one of Hobbsworth's minor scanners. You get me one of them, and then we can talk about next steps. You mean this thing? Oh, you found one already? Where'd you get it? It was just lying around in Hobbsworth's hut. He really should be more careful. Right then. Let's see what else you've got in that bag that might be worth my time, trouble and effort. I don't know if you can use this, but how about this finger? Okay, creepy. Let me take a look. Whoa! Okay, this is some serious kit. The micro-actuators alone are worth a bundle. So it's a deal then. You'll hack this scanner, and the finger is yours. You betcha. Pleasure doing business with you. Meet me at my workbench when you're ready. All right, one Ember Grade Minos Hacker. Thanks. So how do I use this thing? You activate scan mode, obviously. Okay, got it. Yeah, well, that's the easy part. Now follow me. This is how I find hidden systems. They're all over the place. There you go. One just... Right. So this here is a diagnostic view of Minos. Looks like it runs the vending machine. 
No kidding. See those task notes? The darker ones? Yeah. Well, unlike Hobbsy's little vanilla scanner, my hacker can swap them round. So let's see how smart you are. Want to give me an infinite supply of spankles? You did it! <clears throat> You're smarter than you look. Okay, apply the hack and you'll be good to go. Alright mate, figure the rest out yourself. Oh, and try not to do anything too stupid, eh? Mike, beyond the charging zone? <laughs> 